which one should you get? <sighs> Welcome back everybody to a quick one, but I wanted to do it this week. Uh, the question is, which one should you get? You know these both. The Xexis Mini by Lukas Navalny and the new short Turkish by Lukas Navalny. I would say both, but of course they are not just on the on the on the you know discount side, so you really need to think about. Both do 28 inches max draw, both cost roughly the same. The Xexis is overall like it's a little bit shorter. But you see that there is not much. So the, the Turkish one is more straight on the handle part. The Xerxes has more flex in it. And then overall you see that the, that the thingy, you know, the Xerxes has your overall complete swing out there and not really a sear, only a little reinforced here. And you see that the Turkish one is made normally with Kazan and Bash and everything. What have you? It's so cold. Let's see stringing. First I do something here. Oh, it's so fresh. It's so fresh. So the Xerxes Mini has more like the Nox from Korean style. Easy peasy. Oh, and they were outside now in minus 10 degrees. Now it's kind of like zero. I didn't do anything to them, didn't warm them up or something. I just string them, leave them now for a second. So this is the Xerxes Mini. <laughs> and this is the Turkish, the new short one. The individual reviews you can watch on my YouTube channel. I don't go to all the specs and what have you. Because you just watch the videos. I can put the link in the description. I mean, it's relatively simple. If you like Turkish bows and you, you like this, you know, Sipahi fan and you want to do Turkish archery, get the Turkish one. <laughs> if you want more of the fun people, <laughs> get the Xerxes. They are both amazing. I love this one directly out of the box because I shot the groups like nothing. But this one, the Turkish one, was even better. And then, of course, you see it. It's, it's here. You have the the bridge bark, which you pay extra, and here you have this uh, cross fiber, cross fiber. I should know. <laughs> so. The Xerxes, the mini Xerxes, is just a beast, a beautiful beast. shoot it that you know it. Oh, today I feel it in the hand. But the bow is cold too. <laughs> nice. So the first three are kind of like this group. Nice around the center. Turkish. So on the target, you can't tell the difference. It's really hard to say both are, everyone is a little different. This one draws nice, shoots. You can't even, I need to shoot more. Have a look for yourself. How good I'm shooting out of the box. I didn't do warm up, I didn't do any training. Texas Mini. This handle is a little bigger, a little more comfortable. That was a bad shot. 
usually I'm with this one a little more accurate. This is so hard to say. X-axis, mini X-axis. I mean, handle feel is good. The draw is really nice. Turkish, short Turkish. Handle feels, but it's, it's, it's a matter of preference. Both are nice. String is a little thin for this knock. A draw feels a little easier. Access again. Feels more beasty and a bit more snappy. More controlled and more accurate. So this one I think is a little more forgiving. At the end you should have both. A little harder on you. A little less hard on you. So this, oops, this one is a little more beasty. This one is a little more forgiving. So. I would say, if you have already short Turkish bows of sort of whatever, simsek or what have you, you might not need another Turkish bow. Then for sure go for the mini axis. This is just a brilliant piece. If it's your first short bow encounter, especially from Navalny, I would go with the Turkish. It's a little more forgiving. It's a little more accurate. Speed-wise and you see size-wise they are strong. This is the Turkish is it's, it's, it's half an inch or an inch. No, not really even. So it's a little longer. Draws the same but it draws a little bit nicer. A little bit softer. A little bit, oh, look at me, I'm full of snow. Oh. A little bit more gentle. This one is more beasty. So if you have already a lot of experience and you have already short bows, you need to have this one because this is just from another planet. If it's your first short one, get this one. It's a little more user friendly, I would say. But this is you love it or you hate it, and 95% of you will love this bow. Now we do one last time at longer distance and you see how accurate I can shoot now with both of these bows. Three arrows each. This is 20 meters. Oh yeah, that was a bad shot. You saw that. Arrow was wobbly. Something wrong with the arrow. Otherwise this is just yeah. fun factor. I would give the point to the x-axis. We this, with this one. I tend to shoot too high first when I shoot the other one. Oh, yo, yo. So. Sexes is more like mine. <laughs> this is hilarious. Nah, it's. I said before, if it's your first short one from Lukas Navalny, get the Turkish. If you have already a little experience or you have already other Turkish ones, get this. Fun factor with this one is, in my opinion, bigger. It's a bit more beasty, maybe a little bit more challenging. But it's worth it. And this one, if you want to be on the safe side and you want to have fun and maybe a little more accurate in the long run, 
the Turkish one is for you. Both incredible, awesome bows, and I never thought that I would like 28 inch draw. This is hilarious. So there are no voucher codes and nothing. I can't do anything for you. It's and they are cost. It's, I don't know, 600 or something in plus plus plus. So just consider roughly eight to nine hundred euros, and then you have an exceptional bow, which is just you don't get anything else in 28 inches, which performs like this. Speaking of which, I have the short Turkish from Chaba Grosa, and I have a, I think a. Sipahi from Simsek. I might do a comparison with this one as the next comparison video. But for today, it's only about Lukas Navalny's bows. Both of them awesome. If you're not sure, get the Turkish. If you know and if you want to have fun, get the Xerxes. Both awesome. Lukas, thank you so much. And that's all I have for you today. Stay warm, stay safe, be creative, get out and shoot. And thank you very much for watching. And I thank you all for that. I have a lot more subscribers now. Thank you very much. Uh, so please go subscribe and write something in the comment and like this video if you like what I'm doing. And my fingers are freezing off. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.